This week's Farm Basics is brought to you by SatShot.com. Satellites aren't just for NASA anymore. Use the power of satellite imagery to create variable rate management zones in your fields. To reduce input costs and increase yields on your farm, go to SatShot.com. You know, Brian, this year at harvest time, a lot of the ends of the corn ears had worms that were feeding on those kernels at the end. And in many cases, it was costing farmers five to 10 bushels of yield, and the quality of the grain really suffered. Yep, that's the thing. Whenever an insect is allowed to feed on a crop, it's not a good thing. You end up with a less healthy plant. You end up with grain quality that is concerning. The reason why we're bringing all this up is when you hear about GMO, crops or genetically modified organisms, you get all nervous about stuff, but really the way I look at it is it's biotech advancement and we wanted to discuss that a little bit today. What are the benefits and what are the drawbacks to all this stuff? When you think of insects feeding on crops and if you just look at it as your own garden and if you had a tomato plant out there and you had bugs chewing all over those tomato plants and those tomatoes, how good would that be to eat? Or if you have an apple tree and you have worms that are boring holes through your apples, how good are they to eat? Well, in some cases you can save part of that apple or part of that tomato and just cut off the part that's affected. In other cases, you may have to completely junk your crop. It's the same thing for farmers raising corn and raising soybeans and wheat. If they have insects that are feeding on the grain, it's going to severely damage well, the quality the, of that grain. Yeah, the reason why is a lot of bugs can carry disease. And so when they feed on that, they're going to bring disease into that plant. The other thing is anytime a plant gets opened up, it's just like you. If let's say you get a cut on your arm and you don't put a bandage over it, you don't do anything to wash it out, What's, what's going to end up happening? Well, you might end up with that getting infected. Is that a good thing for you? Absolutely not. It's the exact same thing in crops. If bugs are allowed to feed on those crops and there's no treatment for it at all, all of a sudden you end up with an infected crop, a crop that just is not as good a quality. It's not as high a feed value for humans or for livestock. Well, there's one thing that's fantastic about this whole discussion is insects are completely different organisms than human beings. And for humans, we can actually digest certain proteins that insects cannot. And this is what researchers have found out in the case of Bt corn or rootworm corn. They found that there are some proteins that we can put into the plants that humans can digest just fine. It makes no difference to us whatsoever. But with insects, they cannot digest those certain proteins. And when they eat enough of them, they die. So it works great for us in our crops in that insects can take one small little bite of our crop and they die rather than eating and eating and eating and eating for weeks or even months in the year. Yep, so for years there were many organic products like Dipel, for example, that were sprinkled on crops and everybody thought, oh, that's so great. But then they can take some of those same proteins and instead of just sprinkling it on top of the crop, they actually put it into the crop. It becomes part of the crop through biotechnology it's a really good thing. And believe me, these biotech things have been tested over and over again by the Food and Drug Administration, by the EPA. So the safety is confirmed through test after test after test. So I feel pretty good as a consumer eating a biotech food. And I feel even better about it because I know that the bugs were not allowed to feed on it. So the odds are there are fewer carcinogens naturally produced by that particular plant to fend off any of the diseases or any of the insects. Well, rather than get caught up in all the kind of complicated and scary terminology like genetically modified organisms, we really wanted to focus on, okay, what are these things? What is the difference in plants? And oftentimes, in many cases, it's just this protein that's in a plant that humans can digest that insects cannot. Well, unfortunately, even though we can get biotech products to control our insects, we haven't found anything biotech to be able to control our weeds. We'll tell you what will stop this week's Weed of the Week coming up later in the show.